Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I figured I'd go do some SOS in Rise with the Sacred Sheath Longsword. I rarely ever use this thing, but in SOS is definitely where I prefer it. And a nice pleasant surprise, we get a Wrath Loss, which funnily enough, I'm pretty sure is the last thing I fought with Longsword, apart from the Primordial Malzino, of course. But, uh, pretty sure I made a video on this lad in particular. Ooh, pain. I was halfway through the third hit. Which is why we don't use the third hit, generally, because, uh, my god, it takes so long to actually get that third swing out. But it's fine. Oh, monkey. No mount, sadly. That's alright, though. Get our sucker a slash spam out. Oh, that's the nuke. Let it sheath. Can we flash him down? Let's go. Use our other wire bugs to get us the... Oh, auto counter. Pain. And auto mount. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. I didn't expect him to be, like, one wire bug attack away. Let's put him in the swamp, though. If we can, I'm just gonna send him down here because uh, he steers like a freight train and we don't really want to miss that. One, two, three, dash forward a tiny bit so they all land. Oh, we didn't hit the face. That's all right. Definitely want to make sure it hits a good ish hit zone. Well, as best hit zone you can at least. These parts are breaking real quick. I guess it probably built up a lot, but that's all right. Nice, we hit him at least. We take those. Go to the face again. We've got no wire bugs now. So we're gonna do basic attacks, which is very weird on Longsword to, to do them, but that's alright. Give me that. At least in this game, it's weird to do basic attacks. There we go. Nice, went through it. He didn't trip me somehow, I'll take it. He has a very big hitbox on that trample, so I'm always surprised when it actually misses. Get some more. Nice and juicy. Oh, good, 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 good. Bang, bang, bang. Got the piranhas hitting him as well. You love to see it. Spend the wire bug before it goes away. Cancel with another. Do another. Yeah, this is very, like, brainless. I won't say it's brainless. It's mindless longsword, I guess. You just spam it out and hope that you don't get hit midway. That's not going to reach. That's all right, though. Got plenty of wire bugs. Nice and simple. Get some damage, as well as the level if I can. Oh, I thought I had enough meter, I guess not. I was waiting for him to land, but just straight up didn't have enough meter as well. Nope. Give me that. Pain. It's alright, we got wire bugs now, so can't miss a level up anymore. Bop, bop. Get it back again. I should definitely remake this, because I think I can put, like, Heaven Sent 3 on here, and it would be completely fine. Ooh, it didn't miss. Let's go. As well as a few other things. I'm pretty sure I could heavily improve this. So, might do that at some point. There's a few builds I really, really want to work on. Which I may make into videos at some point. Because, uh, that I've got a lot more information than I did when I made these initially. But, uh, that wasn't too bad. Let's go find another one. I also realised I think I'm on Australian servers, which, it's weird to find people. I'm glad that I found people, but, uh, it's very odd to actually find someone here. So funnily enough, I mentioned that I was on Australian servers and I was surprised that I found someone. I could not find someone after that. <laughs> so, uh, I was definitely on Australian servers, but I fixed that. And we got ourselves a Chaotic Gore at 163. He's already used one cart, which is a bit unfortunate. Although he probably just had something weird happen. Or he missed a counter like that and got punished, very likely. Nice SAD, my man. Love to see that. I went past him, thankfully. Uh, we have no meter. I gotta... I think I just need to go get extra wire bugs with this set, is the only thing it, like, really misses. Because you obviously go into the, the start, and if you're not the one that initiated it, you're not landing that, uh, foresight slash to get your third level. There we go, there's an extra wire bug. And take that. I believe I could put a... I could probably just use my raw set with this, right? Instead of having build up boot. He went so far away. I could probably use my Amatsu set with this instead. Blast Toad? It was Blast Toad, let's go. Um, because it's pretty much got the same, like, modifier as this, except it's guaranteed damage rather than a chance to have extra damage on the hit that you want. Oh my god, I just realized he's been 15 minutes here. This poor lad. Poor bugger probably really doesn't want to be here, especially with this lad's hit zones. 
probably not the greatest. Ow. That did damage. Fantastic. But yeah, especially with this lad's hit zones, because it's pretty much just his arms that are weak to element. Does it die here? No? I guess I'll get it then. Yeah. But yeah, I could probably use this with the raw set instead. It would be a bit easier. More reliable. Always got to deal with the Shigaru tax. So here we are. Get off the ledge. It's just been chilling up there. Oh, I have no meter. Okay, that was sketchy for a second already. That's alright. Get a bit closer, do one of these. That's fine. Get out of there. No reason to counter that, really. At least with this kind of counter. If we had the special, it probably would have been fine. But uh, definitely not this one. Oh. Right, we tried this again. Maybe throw him into the poison tree. Get some extra damage. What? How... How did that miss? Whatever, I'm a little bit mad about that. That definitely should have worked. Armor through it. So we don't lose our level. Or levels, because we used all three on that. That's alright. Candidate, so we're safe. The grab. Get some more levels. Oh, he got hit? Okay. That's fine, we do some of these. Okay, should be safe there. Slash, slash, slash. Oh, it missed. Look at the greatsword fever of longsword. Oh boy. I forgot that was a thing. Nice, we got out of there. Okay, should be safe. Can armor through something. If I need to land this. Get out of there. Some more, nice and simple. You want to look at me? Thank you. Free level up. I'm glad that didn't reach. I trusted that it didn't. <laughs> Love to see it. Ah, rip. At least the auto counter got it, and I missed. Thanks, longsword. Strikes again. Woo! Had enough meter to go through it. Giga Beam. Should be able to charge it there, surely. Ooh, okay. Very sketchy, as Risen Shaggy always is. Such a menace of a monster. Foresight. Nice, I got the level. He's going for a run. Nice and simple. Just be safe. Oh no, it's on you! <laughs> chasing me down while Shaggy's chasing them. Great. Okay, he does one more hit. No, he doesn't. It's not level 271. Got it. That worked, but we missed the follow up. Nice and easy. There's the mount. Got the auto mount. I still need to turn that off, honestly. I do multiplayer occasionally, so it's really not that good to have it, but it's alright. That'll work for now. Don't really want it in a hallway either, but it is what it is. He didn't really want to go any other direction. Nice and simple. Just held it. Oh, it's going to miss because he staggered. Yep. Thank you, longsword. It strikes again. Okay, get that. Let it sheath manually. Right. Didn't go for me. Lovely. Means we should be able to land this pretty well. Just try to get over to a decent part of him. Get one of these again. Probably going to be just short of getting our third, sadly. Or not. I'm crazy. Let's get the third one. Alright, we get our charge. I guess I'll just go for the tail because... Can't get over to his face. It will take way too long. Oh my god, of course it hit the wing. That makes so much sense that it hits the wing when we're all the way back here, right? That makes so much sense. Okay, that's fine though. Tax off it. Charge up our thing. 
Just watch the shaggy. Okay, wasn't on me, thankfully. That time and hit the tail, let's go. Nope. Give me that meter. And one more for the road. Nice. Try to stay in the ring for him. Ooh, let's go. That's good damage. Well, damage window at least. There. Okay, we go forward. Ready a dust of life in case someone gets hit. Yep, I healed him. It's fine. Some more. Of course he broke after one hit. Oh, any snook. Why not? Again, we'll go the tail because there's no way I'm hitting the face. At the moment. Again, it didn't hit the wing. What a, what a surprise, you know. But that's okay. Some more. Poke foresight. Beautiful. Figured he was going to attack, so I ended it early. That works. He tried to grab. He missed, so he takes a bit. Ooh, let's go. Free opening. On the noggin. 2k. Juicy. Let's do another one. Nope. Not falling for that. Some more levels. Yeah, see what I mean? This is like a very brain off playstyle. Which is fine if you want to play like this. But uh, I find it works best in multiplayer here. For sure. Okay, nice. Get some more. Bop, bop. That way. Don't think I have enough to level, so I'm just going to go to that again. Is he leaving? No, just weird monster. <laughs> weird, weird monster, man. What is that? Oh my god. The multiplayer, dude. <laughs> Some more. I have barely any meter, but that's alright. Barely any levels, that is. GG's. As always, here was the build, in case you want to try out the playstyle. As I said, I'll probably remake this to use the Amatsu Longsword instead, because it's probably a little bit better and more consistent than a build-up boost set. Using a Frostcraft 3 with two 2 slots and a 1. And here are the skills and decorations, of course. All the green numbers are from decorations. If you want to screenshot there and there, you can. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.